Okay, I got a hold of the HTC uh, uh, Thunderbolt from Verizon. Uh, there's been a lot of <clears throat> reviews already, so let me just quickly just kind of do a little quick unboxing. Um, as you see, I've already taken it out and charged it. They come in this little box. There's not much in the box that comes with it. As you can see, uh, I'll just quickly run, run through it uh, so everybody can see it. As you can see, Ace Mini HDMI, the little kickstand. The back has the HTC 4G, two LEDs with the camera, cancellation mics for the back. Uh, the front you have your your Android um, key, keypads here. Up here you have the headset, another microphone cancellation, uh, the power on and off. This is where you remove the cover. I've already put the battery, I charged it a little bit, so we'll go ahead and power this up while this is doing this. It's got another just a slim uh, button there. Um, <clears throat> as you noticed, uh, let me get the Atrix here. It, it's not, the Atrix same thing is pretty much pretty slick. You know, hardly any buttons, which is pretty nice. Uh, I kind of like the phones like that with hardly no buttons. And, um, as you can see, uh, the Thunderbolt is pretty much, uh, not that much, it just feels bigger, but it's not that much bigger compared to the, to the Atrix here. Oops, let me take this cover off. So I'm going to just quickly just go over um, a lot of people has been complaining about the 4G draining the battery um, I got a quick little way into this you know you get a toggle on and off switch what you guys can do when you're in a 4G area you know usually if it's on 4G you probably don't need uh, to be on um, 4G to access a lot of your websites 3G is pretty fast enough so what I recommend I mean it's up to you guys but what you guys can do is if you go to the phone uh, you can um, do star pound star pound four six three six pound star pound star this will get you to the information uh, center here click on information here go down as you can see since it's LTE running is GSM service and you can see right here that you'll see it says CDMA plus LTE video. All you have to do is drop down this, put it in auto CDMA, and just hit back, back, and now it's uh, going to stay on 3G. Uh, it won't go to 4G. So that way you can save some battery if you want uh, until you get a toggle on and off switch that you know, you'll probably find in the marketplace. So I just wanted to do a little quick uh, rundown on this. Uh, I'm going to be testing this out. i got to send it back to Verizon. So I just thought I'd show you guys uh, how to toggle on and off for the 3G. Um, it's pretty quick. I'll, go, I'll do another review uh, a little bit more. There's plenty of reviews out there, but I'll just kind of go over it anyways. Uh, show you guys any little features I might find. One more thing. and. Um, if you do want to go back to putting the 4G, all you have to do again is do star, pound, star, pound, 4636, pound, star, pound, star. That will give you back to this menu. And then when you're in this menu, go back to phone information, drop down to the menu here, put it back on EVDO LTE, and just hit back, back and you'll be back uh, um, if you're in that 4G area that will turn into 4G up here uh, I don't have coverage here 4G but I'll be taking it down tomorrow where there's 4G and I'll be switching it on and off and see the battery life comparing with 4G on and then uh, 4G off 